Hi there and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name's Richard and as you see I've just landed at my home airport, the Grand Strand Airport in North Myrtle Beach and I'm going to show you how I did that because this is how I like to practice my uh, landings, both the flare and the landing and I use the ILS to do that. So I'm going to pause the airplane a minute I'm gonna come up here and I'm going to do a file load of flight and the flight is called uh, KCRE right here ILS 23 on about a four mile final now in another video I'm going to show you how to make that saved flight but here's why I like it because I can hit load flight when it comes up, it will still be in pause, as you can see. Now the problem here is, is that you can see that the um, autopilot is on, but these are wound all the way back. So you, one, you have to make sure that the blue lever is full forward and push the throttle up about a third of the way, somewhere uh, right about there. And you also also have to make sure, uh, generally it won't be a problem, but you can also check and make sure that the flaps are down, okay? And um, you can see you're not at 69 knots right now, but you will be soon. So with the th throttle up about a third, I'm gonna take the autopilot off and it'll just start flying. Take a while for it to kick in. There we go. Now here is where you can uh, move your throttle up uh, to about 12 or 13 manifold pressure and hold about 64, 65 knots. So there's halfway between 64 and 65. We're on course and we're on glide slope. And we're just gonna let the autopilot take us down and get ready to land. Okay, if you see the uh, airspeed getting a little lower, just push the throttle up a little bit. Just keep it above 60. So I'm going to keep going up a little bit. You see the, mani the uh, inches of manifold right here are 12.8 and that'll keep it above 60. If you have to go up to 13, you can. Now this is going to vary depending upon your what altitude you're at, the density altitude, all, all kinds of stuff. But just play with the throttle a little bit. Uh, the airplane's going to fly itself and keep the um, airspeed uh, above 60 and below 63. And we got about a two mile final here. We're just going to let the airplane fly itself in. I like to use my other uh, view of this, which is this, which is gives me a better feel for sitting in the left seat of the airplane and being able to see the runway, see the um, um, primary flight display and let's let it come on in okay airspeed's getting a little higher i'm so 12.8 i'm gonna pull it back probably 12.6 or 5. that's too much okay 12 point come on back to 12.6 right there or 5 okay now i'll let the airspeed get down below 64. if it doesn't get down there enough just very carefully put a little pressure on it and it'll get back down I'm down down to 12.3 okay 64 will be okay I'm gonna pull it back one more uh, touch and let it get down below 63 here so I'm at 12.0 now and that'll slowly get down to about 60. So what we're going to do here 
is we're going to fly it onto the runway, and I'll explain what that means. We're, we're, when we get ready to land, um, we're going to take it off of autopilot by giving the um, uh, hat switch on the right side, which controls trim, I'm going to give it one click of up trim. One, you need one click of up trim to start raising the nose, and two, a click of trim turns off the autopilot. Very important. Now we're going to do that when um, we are uh, landing assured, is what I call it. Landing assured, meaning we're so close to the runway, and you can see those white bars of the approach light there. When you get to about the uh, third one, come between second and third light at the nose, it's time to be landing assured. And I'll do one click and then I'll pull the throttle back just a little. It's at 12.5, I'll probably pull it back to about 11 and a half. Okay, here we go. Almost at that uh, third from the runway. And airspeed is a little low. I'm going to wait just a little closer. Okay. And now I'll give it one click of up trim. Autopilot is off. Um, push the nose over a little bit. Let's start pulling the power back to about 11. And just let it come on in. Now, slowly pull the nose up. Keep slowly, look down at the end of the runway, slowly pull the nose up. The airplane will settle in. The nose gets to be a little higher. And you'll see, feel the airplane just landing. Okay. And there, that was the main wheels touching down. I've still got the nose up. Now I'm going to lower the nose. Okay. There you can hear the that little rumbling is the uh, nose wheel running around. So now I'm going to uh, keep on the center of the runway. I'm going to uh, go ahead and hit the brakes. And notice I haven't changed the power yet. Okay, it's still at 12. Uh, it went up to 12 because we pulled, um, landed. Okay, but the you can see the throttle is still uh, going. Okay, let me undo the brakes. Back to the center of the runway. All right, and then put on the brakes. Okay, and the constant speed prop is still spinning. Okay, and until I pull this all the way to idle, and there you'll see it go all the way to idle. Okay, now it's in idle. So we had we were sort of uh, cushioning the landing by allowing the prop to help us uh, it's helping us um, partly slowing down but keeping some thrust going so that when you land you land with that n slightly nose high attitude so the wheel main wheels touch first then you can lower the nose so that's how I like to practice landing and in a different video I'll show you how to get that set up um, uh, by starting the ILS a lot further out and when you're on the final approach you pause the airplane and save it and I'll show you that in a different video thank you for watching stay tuned for more videos